So let's do question number 64. It is a value-based data sufficiency question. Okay, They're asking you to calculate what are the unique values of X and Y, where X and Y are distinct natural numbers. Distinct means they're different natural numbers. It means positive integers. So there are two statements and followed by four answer choice. So as I said before, you have the complete freedom to start with any of the statements. Okay, I'm starting with statement two because it's seems like direct and easy for me so that's why i'm starting with statement two so the product of x and y is 12. so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to think about different possible combinations for two numbers when you, you get a product as 12 right so let's say x and y the product is 12 one is uh, 12 and 1 the value of x is 12 y is 1 then it could be a 6 and 2 See, there are multiple combinations possible. Or it could be 3, 4. There are multiple combinations. So what I'm going to check is, is statement 2 sufficient to get a unique value for x and y? No. As long as we've we got multiple values of x and y using statement 2, for that reason, statement 2 is not sufficient. Okay, you don't need to list down all the possibilities. Okay, at this stage, you don't need to. As long as you got multiple answers, that's enough to eliminate statement 2 or prove that statement 2 is not sufficient. So option B is eliminated because option B says, says that question can be answered using either statement alone. I just proved that statement 2 is not sufficient. For that reason, option B is eliminated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try st statement 1 alone, analyzing statement 1. So statement 1 says that x by y is an odd number. Okay, x by y is an odd number. Do you think this is... Uh, enough or sufficient to get a unique value for x and y? No. Because there are multiple combinations that satisfy this condition. x by y is odd number. See, for example, 3 upon 1. Value of x is 3 and value of y is 1. It's an odd number. Right? 3 upon 1 is 3, which is an odd number. Similarly, I can also think about, let's say, 6 upon 2, which also gives you 3 an odd number. So here the value of x is uh, 6 and value of y is 2. See, there are multiple values. Here, the value of x is uh, 3, y is 1. So, from statement 1 alone, there are multiple combinations possible or multiple values forcible for x and y. For that reason, statement 1 alone is not sufficient to answer the question. At this stage, option A is also can be eliminated. Now, the next step that you need to do, okay, we proved that individually statements are not sufficient to get a unique value for x and y. So next step you need to do is you need to combine both of them. Okay, you need to combine both of them. So in that case, I'm gonna list down all the possible uh, combinations based on statement two. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna list down all the possible combinations. Let's say start with the one, twelve, two, six, three, four. Also, you should consider the other, like you know the the all the possibilities, right? See. 3, 4 also, vice versa is also possible. 4, 3. Similarly, 6 to x can be 6, y can be 2. As well as uh, x can be 12, y can be 1. Because it's given just product of two numbers is 12. So you should consider all the possibilities, right? So these are the all different possible scenarios that you should think about. Because x and y are distinct natural integers, okay? These are the all possibilities. Now what I'm going to do is, Based on statement 1, there is one more condition given. Statement 1, x by y is odd number, okay? So, I'm going to check out of this listed combinations, which one of them will satisfy this condition also. x by y is an odd number. For that, we should be very clear that x has to be greater than y. Then only we are getting an odd number, right? Otherwise, when x is smaller than y, it's going to be a decimal value which is not an odd number, right? So you can eliminate all the combination where x is smaller than y. So first, second, third is eliminated. You start with fourth one. Four upon three, again, it's a decimal. You don't need to consider this. Six upon two, which is three. Six by two is three, which is an odd number. Yes, this is possible. The last one is 12 up upon one. It's 12, which is an even number. I don't need to consider this case because based on statement one, x by y is also an odd number. So, out of this possibilities, only one combination will satisfy both the statements. So, that means, for 
if you combine both the statements, you are getting a unique value for x and y. The value of x is 6 and the uh, value of y is 2. So that means option C is the right answer. Option C means you combine both the statements uh, to get uh, answer for the question. Option C is the right answer.